Tribes is about a dysfunctional family with one of the members who is deaf and it's about his struggle to communicate with his family and how he learns to be accepted in different communities. You have a, a marriage that is holding on by a thread, you have um, a brother and sister who argue all the time and you have the youngest brother who everyone likes the most but struggles the most to fit in. He feels out of place but everyone likes him the most because he's the quietest I suppose. You're shifting the parameters of the argument again. All I'm saying is get your stuff out of Billy's room. It's a play really about how we communicate, um, how we use language and what purpose language has. Billy has this incredibly loud family um, and he's never really sort of experienced deaf culture before um, and doesn't really know what it feels like to to be the centre of attention really because everybody's constantly overlooking him in his household. He's been uh, deaf from birth, brought up in a family that's completely hearing, so he's never really interacted with anyone in the deaf community. He's basically been brought up as if he were perfectly hearing. And until he meets Sylvia, who slightly changes his perception on what deafness, deafness means, and at that point he starts to reassess his family life um, as well as who he is as a person. His non-verbal, his emotional communication is actually better than all of the hearing characters put together. So for example, Toby Stevens, who's playing Christopher, is the, he's the literary figure in the family. He's an academic, he's really good with words. So in that sense, he's good at communicating. But his emotional intelligence is awful. Without language, we get it, we get it. Without language our thought will die. Sylvia is going deaf over the course of the play and um, she's really struggling with herself. She, she says a lot about the fact that she's losing her personality. She, she can't even be funny. Um, and she has a real journey over the course of the play. Like you see her being sort of incredibly funny and flirtatious at the beginning and sort of full of life. And it just slowly drains out of her until she sort of She's, she's clinging to everything, but at the same time she has absolutely nothing left. It's all about language and um, poetry and love and family and listening and not just talking all the time is um, one of the main things. Flower. Finger spelling. Um, sign poem. No. <laughs> The classical music in the art is interesting because um, the family is set up as, as written to be quite pretentious. Um, they are very uh, intellectual, they, they value um, intelligence over pretty much every other attribute. Um, and basically, the play is set up to kind of criticize into pure intellectualism. Oh, look at my essay! Look at my idea! I found it in my pocket! Within the, within the family and kind of shows that it's communication and kind of feelings are more important than intelligence and that's kind of expressed a lot of the time with, um, in the form of classical music and art. Music is a big thing. Um, for me particularly, I actually say the line, I can't hear music anymore, um, which is, it's, it's, yeah, it's really sad, but it's difficult because I think the music's just like all the talking, it's just a sort of noise um, that, is sort of surrounding and deafening everyone really um, but yeah music's a big thing music and literature and all forms of art the supposed beauty of classical music is used in the play in order to you know make the tragedy of being born deaf and being brought up unable to listen to music and hear you know nuances in people's speeches and you know subtleties in music not being able to appreciate that is the real tragedy. It was a fucking church hall, you're not Mick Jagger. I am Mick Jagger actually, 35 people came. Okay. It's interesting because no one in the audience, I'm guessing, will have seen a play which uses deafness and uses sign language in that way. It's, it's another way to communicate. It's a very interesting way of showing the difference between how normal people communicate within the hearing world and showing that um, deaf people within the deaf community have, if anything, a better way of communicating with each other that the family within the play don't really appreciate. It's sort of that underlying sort of defiance from Billy to say, no, I don't want to be part of this tribe. I want to go my own way and become part of the deaf community, um, which in a sense he's always been deprived of. 
due to the attitudes of his parents um, means that um, it creates this really really interesting sort of universal theme and idea with regards to identity and what it is to belong to a tribe or a family or any given group in society. The play is on from the 14th to the 17th of May with a Saturday matinee on the 17th.